Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropical Adventures here to do another fragrance review on What Smells Good to Me. <laughs> So what are we going to talk about? So full disclosure, the fragrance I'm going to talk about was sent to me. However, I am going to give you an honest review. So with that being said, let's do this. So I want to thank Sammy Andros for uh, sending me this fragrance as well as another fragrance uh, that I went ahead and reviewed right here. Uh, really appreciate it. I uh, stumbled upon Sammy's, Sammy's fragrances and I'm so glad that I did. Sammy's a huge fragrance reviewer himself and then, you know, set out on his own to make his own fragrances and I think he is crushing it. So, if this is your first time to my channel, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If this is uh, a return, well, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. I'm not sure why you're doing that, but whatever. My voice is a little hoarse today. I've been uh, training people all day, getting fitted for protective equipment. So bear with me. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about none other than Parme Oud by Sammy Andros. This is another beautiful Oud fragrance. Let's talk about the box. Like I said in the other video, not everyone is about presentation. However, I really do like the presentation that Sammy did with his boxes here. Uh, I said box. The box is very elegant. It's very classy. I love the gold leaf on it. It's not over the top, but I like it. I really, I like the gold embossing there. It's just, it's a really nice, beautiful box. So we're looking at a 30 ml, one ounce bottle here. We've got notes of bergamot, orange, oud, aramis, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. So I had to look what, what aramis, aramis, probably mispronouncing it. All you fragrance nuts are gonna probably kill me. That's all right. It's a soft wood, sweet balsamic note with pepper, ginger, and a vanilla dry down. That's pretty cool. So it, it, you got a lot of different things going on with that wood note, and that's kind of what you got going on with this fragrance. This is a really, really nice fragrance. Very different from the GS that I reviewed earlier, right here, the GS. The GS was a much darker type fragrance. Um, this is much lighter, and we're gonna kind of go over what I got from it. In fact, we're gonna spray it right now, and I'll tell you. Beautiful, beautiful atomizer. All right, so with that, you get a nice, really nice burst and projection of the bergamot orange, almost kind of like a orange peel when you're peeling back an orange, like a really nice citrusy orange. Uh, that's kind of what I get, like almost, you know, when you peel it back and it sprays, you get that little mist. That's kind of what I get as far as the, the initial blast. Um, the sandalwood is like a nice, creamy, soft sandalwood. The oud is not dark. It is not a like dank oud. Um, the oud is definitely noticeable, but it is much different than a lot of ouds out there. That's kind of, I, oud is like one of those fragrances I really enjoy, but um, this is a much softer oud. So if you're a little bit uh, concerned about you know how how strong the oud is this is very this is like an entry level oud so to speak uh, i would say that the the citrus in the the wood notes definitely stand out more than the oud but i do like the fact that the oud is in there um i think everything mixes quite well together i see this is and you might have seen my other videos where i, I kind of toss this term around this is a versatile fragrance a versatile fragrance is a great fragrance to have because it's exactly that. You can wear it, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, and that's kind of how I see this fragrance. This is a perfect fragrance that you would put on light, you know, maybe one or two spritzes, because uh, it is an extract de parfum, um, so it is, it is, um, it lasts, right? It's got a nice projection, it lasts on your skin, you get eight hours out of this thing easily, so that, you know, you do one or two sprays and it's perfect for the office. All right, then you want to pump it up. You're going to cocktail hour, you're going on a date or whatever, and you really want to be noticed. All right, you pump on two more, kind of amp it up a little bit, and it's it's definitely going to be a little bit more noticeable. But it's not a loud fragrance, which is really nice. Very different. Um, you know, we all have fragrances for different occasions, 
but I like this because obviously if you amplify the sprays, you're gonna obviously amplify the projection. But it's nice enough that you could just do two, you would have that, that's pleasant. It's a nice, very nice smelling fragrance. However, it's not overpowering, it's not gonna choke you out by any means. Perfect for your own fragrance. This is great as we are heading into spring, the weather's getting really warm. Uh, in the summer, this will do fine. Um, in wintertime, I think because of those notes, you get that citrus and you get that creamy sandalwood and you get that oud that's kind of light. I think it would pop fine in fall weather and in cold weather. I just, that's why I say it's a very versatile fragrance. I think it just do quite well in all weathers. Like I say in all my videos, nothing does well in swampy weather. You just, you don't even want to be out in swampy weather. You just want to be in a shower or a nice air conditioning. So swampy weather out, but that's what I say for all fragrances. Uh, I think Sammy did a great job. I really like the, the versatility in his fragrances. I like the fact that this is just a versatile fragrance. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really, it was very different, like I said, than the GS. And I chose it based on those citrus notes because the other one was a much darker fragrance. And I do enjoy those, but I wanted something a little bit lighter and that's exactly what I got from this fragrance. I could see this fragrance being a nice unisex fragrance. So you could share this with your significant other and I think it'd be quite enjoyable. Very affordable. Sam Andros does a great job making his fragrances affordable. Um, I just, I think it's a great fragrance. I like the fact that he's making these extra de perfumes and he's making them for an affordable price. You get a fragrance that lasts a long time. Like I said, I got eight hours easily out of this. Obviously towards the tail end of that eight hours, it's more of a skin scent, but the projection was very nice at the very beginning of the fragrance. It mellowed, it dried down beautifully, and I had a great fragrance, great wearing all day. That's pretty much gonna do it. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Make sure you check out Sammy Andros' uh, other fragrances. Also follow him on Instagram and I'll leave all the information below. Please follow me on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures and I will see you again for another fragrance review. Take care.